Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a Strawberry Skies Geode. Alright, so I'm going to unbox some dye and then do some geodes. Let's see here. So this is Strawberry Skies from uh, Happy Cat Tie Dye. Amanda Angel and the box is very well packaged. I think my blade doesn't want to go through it. I just ordered one container of Strawberry Skies. Um, Jen from Boredom with Jen did a hoodie with this color and it's beautiful. You guys should go check out Jen's Etsy page and look at her sweatshirt if she hasn't already sold it. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so my cute little box that came with an invoice. This came all the way from New Jersey over here to the Pacific Northwest. So this is a four ounce jar of Strawberry Skies and I reached out to Amanda and I just asked like what is her policies and her shipping and all of that so I can share it with you She said that she does have her information listed on her website, which is happy cat tie-dye But if you're like me, I don't read the fine print And I know I was checking my mailbox every day looking for my box because I was excited. So this is what she said Average fulfillment time is one to four business days, but during particularly high order volumes, it can take up to a week. If it will take longer than a week, I will reach out. Uh, she's a one person operation. She does have um, some help from her husband with some tech support and her mom will sometimes help uh, do some packing and all of that, but she's basically a one woman show, which you know most of us are and that's totally reasonable. And then once the package is out in the mail, she, there's nothing she can do about it, obviously, which n none of us would expect that, right? And then if something arrives damaged or incorrect or a package is lost, she will replace it. So that is what Happy Cat Tie Dye is doing. Um, and so I'm excited to try out this color, Strawberry Skies. Um, very well packaged, a really professional jar. Um, it's cute. It has her um, logo. That's the word I'm looking for. Happy Cat Tie Dye, four ounces, Strawberry Sky. And then on the top, it also says Strawberry Sky, which Sky, which is nice. Sky is uh, that I can't talk because when I'm looking in my drawer, I can I can see this and I know that it's hers. So thank you so much, Amanda Angel, and all of you, if you're interested, head over to Happy Cat Tie Dye, order yourself some of this color. She has other colors available. I specifically was looking for this one. So I'm going to apply it to a geode and then you're gonna fall in love with it like, well, hopefully I'm gonna fall in love with it too, if mine turns out well, but you're gonna fall in love with it like I do and then you're gonna want some. So. Again, thank you so much, Amanda. I appreciate you shipping that out to me when I placed my order on your website. So I tied my geodes up off camera, basically just using sinew and wrapping up a bunch of random bits of fabric. And I've left the sound on this because I want you to hear my ice cubes. They are super frozen and really dry. And I'm wondering if that is going to factor into how the shirt ends up looking at the end. I like to add enough ice to where I don't see any of the fabric showing through. I want the dye to hit the ice cubes, not the shirt. Now it's time for the fun part. We get to add the dye, and I'm just going to add a light layer on top of all of the ice. This method is called dye over ice, and you'll see it abbreviated in the Facebook groups, D-O-I. 
Now this color is a trip. In the jar, it looks brown. And then when it hits the ice and begins to melt, it turns into a very dark navy blue. And I've seen some comments in the Facebook groups like, oh no, it's really dark, what do I do? Well, I can tell you, you just have to trust the process with this one. This is an amazing, beautiful color. Next, I give the project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure, and then I set it aside so the ice can melt. After the ice melted, I checked the back and it looked like it needed more dye, so I flipped it over and repeated the process, and I had technical difficulties, and this is all I was able to capture. I let this project batch for the full 48 hours, so now it's time for the rinse out process. So what I've been doing with my geodes is I'm untying them before I rinse them. I just find it to be a lot easier and less messy. So for the rinse out process, you wanna start by using cold water. That's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and then increase your water up too hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I like to do hot water cycles using Kirillon. Kirillon is a professional textile detergent. And then I like to do a final hot water cycle using Millsoft. And Millsoft is a professional fabric softener. And I get both of those from Dharma Trading Company. And I do have links down below in the description box, along with everything else that I use for tie dye. So make sure that you check that out. Then I'll put it in the dryer and I'll iron it and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys here's our strawberry skies geode after it's been washed and dried and I think it turned out beautiful I don't care for that giant geode on the back but I'm glad it's on the back but overall this color is absolutely incredible it's hard to believe that all of this is coming from just one little jar of dye like every color is in there purples magentas jade turquoise some golds, it just a little bit of everything. Now in these close-up shots, it looks very strange. And remember me saying about the ice being very, very cold, very frozen and dry. And it's almost as if the cotton has become freezer burned. Now there's big talk and controversy in the Facebook groups about soda ash burn. And when I contacted Dharma about it, they said they've never heard of that. They don't know anything about it. And I've never really experienced it before until today. And I don't think it's soda ash burn because I treated this shirt like I do all of my projects, but my ice was different than it normally is. And I don't know why other than I just ripped it right out of the freezer and put it on. Um, but usually when I use my nugget ice, it's a little bit melty and wet. So I'm wondering if the super dry ice damaged the cotton. I don't know, have you guys ever experienced anything like that before? Overall though, I think the shirt is absolutely amazing and I have another one batching right now with different ice because I'm curious to see if I'll have a different outcome. So I don't know, we shall see. So overall, I'm really pleased. What do you guys think? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie dyeing.